in this um, short video we're going to look at plans and elevations. Now let's imagine we've got um, two cubes put together. Um, I'm going to explain to you what is meant first of all by a plan and elevation. If we look from the side, there's two sort of sides we can look at, and let's call that side one and side two, then these are elevations. Now from elevation one we're going to see the length, which is two and as the two cubes are together, we're going to see the sort of seam of where the cubes are joined. Now, if we're looking from uh, point two, and we're just looking at a different side, or, or a different elevation, and this is just of one square. So two will look like this. So those are two um, elevations. If we look down, as though we're a, a bird flying over the top of the cubes, then it's going to look the same as the elevation. You're going to see two cubes. And you can either draw that like that or or like that, depending which way you're looking down on it. So these are the elevations and these are the plans. Now you can be given elevations and plans and asked to draw um, a, sh a cube, uh, a sort of a um, solid, or you can be given the solid as you were in this particular um, question and asked to uh, draw the elevations. So we'll do a, another sort of classic solid that gets shown quite a few times. So we'll do the sort of the L shape made from sort of three cubes, but this time we won't um, show the seams. So if we look from side one, then we're going to have this elevation. If we look, so I'll just put the one there, if we look from 2, then we will see the bottom and we will see the top. But there will be a line across because the back part is one cube back, so they're not actually lined up in the same sort of plane. This, this section here is further back, but when you look straight at it, um, you won't see that. And again, if we look down from above a plan, then we won't see the depth and we'll simply see the two cubes like this. Okay, so let's have a look at something a little bit more um, complicated. So what if the uh, one elevation was like that, and the plan was like that. And I asked you to draw the solid. So a good way of doing this is to draw one of the elevations just at a slight angle. And you can see from the plan that's not too good, but you see from the plan that there's four bits. So imagine that bit there, and imagine that bit there. And from the top, you're looking down. So you've got your two sort of slopes. I haven't really drawn them that well in this diagram. Imagine the slopes came out a bit like that. So that would be this bit here. And then the slope on the other end would be that bit there. Because when you look down, you're still going to see kind of like a rectangular shape. You won't see the slope, you'll just see the join there and the join there. And imagine that there's a, an extra one there. So this is the sort of the top part and these are the slopes as you look down. So maybe I'll try and uh, draw a better, a better diagram. They are a bit fiddly but they're quite generous with the marking. As long as it looks something right you'll get the, uh, you'll get the answer. A, s a slightly better version, um, perhaps just slightly better 3D version. So that's the solid that goes with that elevation and that plan. So that's plans and elevations, a quick reminder.